Home to me is uh, where I'm from. I was born and raised in a small Caribbean island of St. Lucia. More specific to just St. Lucia is the village that I'm from. It's called Lavery. Um, it's a very small, uh, you know, primitive village that uh, sp spent the first 20 years of my life. Uh, moved here at age 20. I've been living in America for uh, 10 years now. Home to me is Brooklyn, New York. I have been in the city of Reading for four, 13 and a half to 14 years. I am, besides one sibling, the only family that I have out here. Nothing, no matter where I go in this world, will ever be considered as home besides New York. Home to me is Jamaica. It is the place where I have my earliest childhood memory, where my family is from. I am a first generation American born college student. When I was a kid, I think home was like a house, like a building. When you have your parents or your brother and sister, and that's it. When I grew up, it got more extended because, you know, always conflicts at home and you have friends. And I think I include my friends as a home. Home to me is wherever my family is. No matter, I've always moved around, I've never had a permanent home. Somehow I've managed up here, I don't know for how long, years it seems. See, I've moved around a lot of my life, you know, born in Liberia, spent my first 12 years there, lived in California for seven years, joined the military, moved around for about 16 years. So home for me, not really a place, it's just an idea. So it's not a building or place or area or city. It's just where I can get away and be alone and have my thoughts to myself and just plan my days, my weeks, my upcoming months. Home is where my heart is, my family, friends, and animals. It's where I feel comfortable in everything that I do, where I find peace, love, serenity. Where I can be by myself or with others the space that I have made and created where I can do anything that I want. Home to me is a place where there's calmness, serenity, uh, laughter, friends, family, and it's a place to ponder, think, and it's also a place to be gregarious and social. Uh, a place at the end of the day to lie down and wake up the next day uh, ready for a new challenge. I think home is more inside of me because I can include my grandparents, I can include my sister, people who are not around me right now, people who just passed away, and people that are my friends that I can see every day, people who I miss. I guess I got that every time that I close my eyes and I just think about them and I feel home way I feel comfortable, relaxed, secure, tranquil. And it could be a tent in Afghanistan or it could be a one bedroom apartment in Wyoming, Missing, Pennsylvania. That's where home is to me. But the reason why library is so important to me is it's where, not just where I grew up, but it's where most of my family is. Um, and it's a small place that taught me a lot of values and uh, taught me the importance of uh, respecting your elders and it's where I feel most comfortable at. Home is my aunts, my uncles, my grandmother, who see now, who doesn't even know who I am, but that's just home to me. My apartment is home for me. I'm comfortable there. I do whatever I want. It's freedom, and it's mine, and that's my home. Focusing on uh, similarities, finding that we have commonalities, as opposed to focusing on differences. It is a cheesy saying, but uh, home is where the heart is, is really uh, where you want to be, the people you love, it really is uh, that simple. Spirit. Isolation. Tranquil. Family. Sanctuary. Comfortable. Comfortable. Love. Love. <laughs>